I've been thinking about the good times. I've been sleeping through the long nights. I've been shining in the sunlight. I've been thinking how I'm alright. There's a reason for my feelings. There's a reason why I'm healing. Hi y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Carla and this is Carla Sweet Life. Today's video is a speed clean with me for weekend cleaning motivation. And if you're not watching this on a weekend, it is still great cleaning motivation for you guys. And throughout the video, you will actually see Valentine's decor out. And actually at the very end, I will show you guys Valentine's little house tour just with music, just so you can see how I did everything. And since Everything is pink during Valentine's. It's probably one of my favorites. I love decorating with all the pinks. So make sure to stay tuned for that. If you are new here, I would love if you subscribe to my channel. I do tons of clean and motivation on my channel and I will do some decor, organization, hauls as well. But it is mostly clean and motivation on my channel. So if you like that and you like some good music with awesome cleaning, make sure you are subscribed. And give this video a thumbs up and say hi in the comments because I love getting to talk to you guys. And as you saw, I was getting all the sheets off the boys' bunk beds, and then I was going to head into the master bedroom and get those sheets off as well. But y'all, here is like my true honesty, and I can probably go back and see when I last changed my sheets, but I promise you, it's been quite some time. I went through some, some anxiety issues, and it all stemmed... I'm going to tell y'all because here's my honesty coming out, but it all stemmed because I swallowed a piece of peach. It was actually nectarine and I thought I had it stuck in my throat. I know crazy, crazy woman over here. Um, it's kind of one of my fears is choking. So I thought I had something stuck in my throat and even though I was breathing and talking and everything, I was super duper convinced. So this went on for three days, saw doctors. <laughs> A couple of ERs um, like guys I was really really freaking out even though I was like doing everything in my head I thought I had something in my throat you know I was super convinced I thought I was gonna die I thought I was gonna leave my family and like I was just super duper scared so after three days I finally saw my psychologist because my ENT doctor recommended I should and I was like why do you want me to see the psychologist but anyways I did and she pretty much told me that I was having panic attacks because I was thinking that my symptoms were real which in my opinion they were <laughs> um, which come to find out I may or may not have some thyroid calcification, which might have been there, but the doctors couldn't distinguish it. They wanted me to have a CT to further evaluate, but I didn't want to do that. Um, but anyways, so all of that stemmed my panic attacks and the anxiety really came out and pretty much I had to like recover from all the anxiety symptoms because if you know panic attacks you get lots of chest pain that radiates down to your arm um and you and like it just goes throughout your whole body so i had to like recover from that a chest pain is no joke especially when it stems from like anxiety so with patience which is what my friend was telling me with patience i just worked on the techniques that i talked to my psychologist about and then with patience and doing like tons of self-care because honestly guys i did not recognize the panic attacks like i had no idea that that's what i was going through um and that that's what I was experiencing at the time during those three days of being scared that I was going to die, that I was going to leave my family. I literally thought it was the end, like I was done. Um, so yeah, super, super scary. And obviously I'm okay. I'm talking, but if you're on Instagram, you know that I kind of talked about it. I didn't even talk about it, but I just mentioned that I had panic attacks and anxiety going on. Um, but yeah, that's my story. There's there's more that goes into it, obviously, but that is like the little, it's kind of embarrassing sometimes, like, you know, oh, you had something stuck in your throat and, you know, like, in my opinion, I did, you know. So, long story short, uh, I haven't changed my sheets in forever probably been at least three weeks if not a month 
So life happened. Um, so yeah, it was definitely time to do it and feeling much better about everything and my anxiety is under control for the most part. I still get worried at times, but that's, that's the whole backstory y'all. If you are one to suffer with anxiety, holy moly, you definitely know where I'm coming from. It is something that for people that don't know anxiety, like they cannot relate and it's really hard to explain to people how it's like, but for the most part, I've been getting really, um, really great support from my family, of course, and my friends like trying to understand and the ones that understand because they have anxiety I mean you you know if you have anxiety like what it feels like and it's just super super scary when you're actually in it and like I said for three days I could not snap out of it because I thought I was just literally going to die like I was not going to wake up um, super scared and so after speaking to my psychologist and I'm usually pretty good at recognizing my anxiety and depression and I can stop to do things for myself um, but lately I have not been listening to my gut instinct guys so when your body's telling you yes Carla go to the thrift store yes Carla you know go to Target actually browse lately I haven't or yes take out your Bible yes go to the beach and just sit there like when your body's telling you to do these things your mind like it's probably because you need it and I honestly haven't been listening to my little signals and cues and that did not help my whole my time when I was going through that those few days so I just want to say like self-care is so important um get your nails done you know whatever it is that you love and like I go to Target but like lately I've been running around like a crazy woman trying to get everything done and I haven't done stuff that I actually enjoy enjoy like I love going to thrift stores and just looking and literally browsing around same with target i love getting coffee and i haven't been doing that it's the little things y'all that make such a big difference so i just really encourage you do that self-care do the do all the things that you really do enjoy and do it for yourself because eventually like my cup literally was on empty and i couldn't do anything like for anyone um so really send like thinking back and reflecting on all that that's what it came down to and I just moving forward self-care and listening to my little instincts that we have I've literally been talking almost this whole video. I cannot believe how much I've talked, but I really wanted to let you guys in on what has been happening because I know I'm not alone and you are never alone, y'all. Um, so anyways, <laughs> I'm getting sidetracked again, but the Mrs. Myers Rosent is literally to die for. It's so good. Even my husband, he always notices when I put out the new soaps and scents and he was just like, oh, this smells really good. And I was like, yes, score. So when he loves it, I know it's a really, really good one, but y'all need to try it if you haven't yet. We're moving through the night like we're from a different star. Flying over streets and our broken hearts But they can even touch us, we found a different beat Paradise is waiting and we bought the lead Ooh, getting caught in the mist is so many they'll never get out of They're feeding the fears and the doubts Ooh, but we go and we run to the end and we run without shame
different breed Cause what we got is timeless, we supersede And we're holding the key, yeah we're tight as can be We're rolling, we're rolling, just like we please Ooh, getting caught in the mist is a man that will never get out of We're feeling the fears and the doubts, ooh But we go the way around to the end and we run without shame Alright, I need some help from y'all. I was doing a project on our rug and I burned <laughs> our rug onto the iron. And so I've tried baking soda paste, I've tried vinegar, and the magic eraser, the magic eraser sponge, and I cannot get it all off. If you guys have any tips to removing like really stuck on whatever on the iron, please let me know because I am all ears. I have tried what I've read online, but nothing is getting it off. Call my name, make me lose my game. When you call my name, I go crazy. Cause I can't escape. When you call my name, when you call my name. So I let the Mrs. Myers cream cleanser sit there and did its job while I was doing the dishes. Then I came back and just cleaned it up that way. Throughout this video, I still use the pledge because I have very little bit left. In my last video, I talked about it and how I really want to try Indus next. But I also remembered that I have the Method Wood Cleaner that I need to use up. So I will be using that next. And once, I'm once I've used all that up, then I'll try the Indus.
I wasn't going to mop, but I really felt like it needed to be mopped. So I went ahead and did that. And then you'll, and here in a little bit, you will see the after transformation of everything, including the master bedroom and the boys' bedroom as well, which I did not have their blankets, but they were about to be home. And you know how that goes, like they destroy the room. And the boys haven't like destroyed it or anything, but I just wanted it like nice and tidy. So I just showed you guys what I had done, but I did wash their blankets like you saw earlier. And I'm going to leave you guys with showing the Valentine's Day decor in my house. I thought it's super cute and just simple, but really, I love the pink in it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thank you so much for just being here and hanging out with me. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. I would totally love to have you guys. And like I said, I appreciate you guys so much and love the support that y'all always continue to give me. It really means so much. I... I thought I was going to stop YouTube last week, you know, like I thought I was done with everything. So having y'all support really does mean a lot. And thank you so much. I hope y'all enjoyed this rest of the video. Sweet